This tutorial will be on the M frame Coca Cola Add M frame, and it's just that motion graphics um, bit, uh, basically this one. Now we're not gonna do that text now. We'll just do really quick, um, and it's very simple, very easy to do and I'll just show you how it's done and then you can take it further you can do whatever you want and uh, just because I don't have much time so first uh, you need the like a coca-cola bottle uh, image from the internet and I'll go over this um, when we get to that bit as well so I basically typed in coca-cola and you get the coca-cola bottle I'll, I'll put in the, the link in the description and and then the next you need the font coca-cola font um, so let's just do it first of all we go on Google and download some sort of bottles like this basically I typed in coca-cola art coke bottles and I got these I looked at these these are perfect they could work as well really nice and easy click on this save that to your desktop or to your um, folder go into Photoshop bring them into Photoshop there you go then choose the, the magic wand click uh, on the white now remember this is a background and it's locked so what you need to do is just drag it into here and duplicate it you can delete it after that now we have this so that's selected that's been selected hit delete that's going to delete that background go into select deselect and you can just crop it basically cuts the other one out because we only need one bottle hit enter there you go there's the bottle with the alpha channel now we go into after effects in after effects I, I actually am trying to stay as neat as possible so I have audio comps images solid stills videos so everything for every, every like folders for every every single thing so in comps, what I do is I go into composition, new composition. So I make it, I've already have it like a thousand by a thousand. So I'm now working from, from, from this point on. Uh, I'm not going to work uh, PAL or NTSC or HD. I'm just doing a thousand by a thousand. Click OK. It just makes me uh, this, this lovely comp. <laughs> it's, well, it's just black. So next. I'm going to rename the comp, let's say 01 Coke. Yeah, that's it for now. The next step would be to just bring the, the steel into my project. It's the Coca Cola, right? And just drag that in. That's gonna make into the comp. Now we need to scale that this down, so hit S on your keyboard and scale this to 50 so that's gonna make the, the bottle really small and it's gonna be in the center as well uh, it's not very important so from from here what we need to do is select the bottle go into effect generate and generate the fill that will make the bottle kinda of red which is what we want now next step make a new comp and this comp would be let's call it 02 particles now for particles we need basically so we need to bring this comp into the comp um, folder so for this we need to go into effects oh by the way uh, we need to go into sorry just need to hit this uh, need to select sorry need to select uh, the particle comp lay hmm. 
let's see why is it not okay so obviously we need to select this double click on this layer new and a solid make it black white whatever but black is fine now so click OK now you have to have a trap called particular so in the effect select particular and go to the emitter and let's say um, let's leave it a hundred for now and let's see how, how, how will that play uh, so that's coming towards us so that's no good what we need to do is rotate this 90 so and then it's not uniform it's directional and then we bring this down right to the bottom it doesn't have to be precise and then we can just make this 50 and then 50 again oh 50 again uh, it's not gonna oh no so that's oh sorry and uh, boom 55 let me just double check here yeah. 5 and 50 yeah so let's see how that do uh, it's kind of slow coming up okay now the life right life has to be a bit longer so life it's only three and needs to be let's say 10 and that's gonna spread up then next size is good um, for now um, just to make it faster do okay the physics maybe yeah just make it let's say five now it's gonna spread so much more and it's gonna be faster as well now I don't know if that's too much now maybe let's say three and in the, the air if you want a little bit of turbulence let's say 10 and affected position 10 as well so now it's gonna kinda it's not gonna go extremely straight so, ah, no, it's fine so that, with that done we can actually move into color and just choose red so we have that and hit enter ah, looks okay that's all basically so go back into the coke um, camp and bring this particular underneath make an alpha channel and um, when you hit play it should take the yeah see that alpha channel now that's pretty nice that's very nice now you can actually go back and let's say rename this party and uh, maybe zero one because we might bring another one we might I'm not sure I think that's fine so with that, that done um, you can actually go in here and tweak whatever let's say um, you don't want too many you go into say two and raise the uh, minus uh, bring the gravity to a negative five so that's something like that it'll just kind of go faster so now we're going into the coke comp and that's what it's gonna look like very nice now one more thing to do just before we move to the next step see the coke la um, layer so basically this one takes the alpha channel of the coke bottle so to be able to see the bottle you just click the, the eye and 
turn it on and from here you can actually move it down by holding the shift key uh, it'll only move it downwards so you can't go any well you can but it, it doesn't it snaps yeah so move it down or hold down the shift key and down arrow okay so that's one so now moving to the next level so now that we have all this done and we'll do a close that okay what we need to do is bring the particles maybe lower uh, somewhere here duplicate this and bring it to the right and now we might have a, a better particles coming up I suppose wow that's nice okay now what we need to do next is create like a wipe and that's going into layer okay now make a new comp composition okay leave the same same size and everything click OK it's only 10 seconds the length is only just 10 seconds rename this um, wipe and um, by the way it's 0 3 wipe okay. 0 3 I'm used to the PC a lot as well so the shortcuts are different so okay so that's done composition and now that we have the wipe double click on the wipe uh, no don't go into there because we already have a solid bring the solid down go to the effects okay now in the comp sorry in the the wipe composition there maybe call this zero one wipe and now you can go in the effects transitions radial wipe I, I choose this uh, hit 70 then two, 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 then um, start angle. we'll see now actually in a second oh yeah so if we hit this button the toggle transparency grid uh, we'll see the black wipe so what we do is in here we just need to rotate it let's say minus minus 25 so minus 125 okay now what we do is we just go to the start then go back on the effects in the wipe center click the stopwatch now in the composition if we hit U it'll expand the video will expand uh, and you'll see the keyframes so that, that created a keyframe now we go to say five seconds into the video and then we go up here hold shift and just drag it up so you don't you don't go any uh, okay just about here so you don't get any left or right then in the feather feather it to 100 maybe 200 uh, so something like that now this this is not a cool effect it's just well it is it's gonna look okay so what we need to do is we need to bring that down all the way to the bottom now we have like a, a nice kind of fade let's have let's see how that look in the composition there so bring the wipe into the comp and we need to turn coca-cola art coke on so now we, we have some sort of yeah that's more like it okay that's kind of nice right so now 
and uh, wipe we let's see we have the wipe now we rename this um, wipe and maybe zero one wipe we duplicate this so command D on the Mac and it's control D on the PC so we duplicated it and let's switch that off for a second now what I was thinking to do is bring just copy uh, the layer particle and copy that and paste it into the wipe composition okay um, let's see what we need to do is select particle and bring this down make it uniform make that uniform so it will spread everywhere right so with that done what we need to do is um, make more of this whether we go into a particle second and say 500 that will make a lot of them undo that and what I was thinking uh, going to physics uh, minus 10 that will spread really fast and maybe uh, the time factor 5 so that's that and bring it up a bit about there yes so with that done we select wipe 2 and we create an alpha mat now that's what we have and then switch this on and we can we need more particles at the top there so what we do is uh, select the wipe 0 1 wipe go to where the keyframe is and just drag that down a bit maybe or just leave it there actually and select the other one and switch this off for a second so let, let, let's just see let's just hit you get the keyframe and let's see bring it up undo bring it all the way up now I think we have a better better top particle going on or we can just feather this for like 300 yeah something like that now if we play this that's gonna feel all that yeah I think that's gonna work so I'm going to coke let's see yeah nice very nicely done yeah okay do 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 okay mm, save this next what we need to do is um bring the one of the particles which is particle one copy that and we put it at the top and um, let's say in about four seconds now we can tweak this is just an idea so you can actually take it further you can actually tweak I don't want to spend too much time on you know going through every um, option in the particles and so you can actually tweak that yourself and maybe get it even better looking um, so we have particles one that will go at the top so when the particles end there we'll have 
more particles, but that's not looking the way I want. So what we need to do is in the particles. Physics zero and the factor. What we need to do is in the particles we need to change a few things um, in the emitter. So let's solo solo this and make this directional, make this a box and make this um, let me see make this zero random speed yeah uh, life uh, five um, gravity in turbulence just because we copy that so we need to change few things turbulence uh, the effect size zero and the next one zero as well and that's more like it so let's say if by the way to adjust the timeline you just hit B for a, an out, an in point, and N for an out point. So render that. <clears throat> it's looking okay. In velocity distribution, make it one. That's good. Um, what else? Size life three. Gravity maybe minus five. And let's see how the whole look. Hello, look. There's too many particles coming out. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, maybe less particles, 50. So just play with the the, the numbers here, let's say 100. Maybe twenty. Um, so that's basically that's basically it. Now we can create a mask and everything like if but that's it's looking good. It's looking good. That's looking good actually. I like that. Now maybe a bit of turbulence. Maybe a bit of turbulence. Ten. Ten. So why not? Okay. That is interesting. Yeah, I like that. So the next move would be Coca Cola text. So what I did, uh, and I'll post the link for you guys in the description, I downloaded this font, uh, install it um, into your computer, and what I do is Type Coca Cola Coca 
coke just coke actually yeah so coke and uh, i go into my font coca-cola yeah that's it there and now i just i match it so, by the way to scale this you can uh, you can click coke uh, text and hit s for scale you can scale it up there's a few ways so 313 for me that's good and what happens is let's play this what we do Cool. That is cool. Okay, so what we do next, um, we set a white background, so we don't have to mess with the, the text. So we set in here, we set layer. Hmm. We'll click on this. Well, layer new solid, and make it white. Now, if I work too fast and you don't know uh, what I did, you can actually leave a comment or uh, send me an email or um, I get back to you as, as soon as possible. Um, sometimes I could be really busy, but um, yeah. So we set a white background, obviously. And let's say, take it from here, see how nicely uh, Coke is going to be revealed. now that's uh, okay I mean you guys can tweak because I, I, I think the f um, feather uh, uh, wipe it's a bit too much so maybe turn it down to 200 now oh 200 um, it's just because I worked um, see the, the, the difference um yeah it can be tweaked anyway so that's uh we only work on half res at the moment so it's still it's still looking good okay so we have that save this um so my next move would be um making the bottle kind of shine so in project in the solid grab the black solid drag it into my one zero one coke uh, comp call it shine so <clears throat> with this uh, what we can do is we just uh, actually with my grab the white so what I did I, I dragged the black but if I click the white solid hold down alt click on the white solid and drag it on top it will just replace it so what I'll do is okay let's just explain I'll go into the pen tool click on the pen tool and just drag a, a quick mask and close it okay so it's hard to see now, so I'll just um, hide the white. So in the in here, in the shine, I'll just click M on my keyboard, and I'll reveal my mark. I will drag that in there. So what I'll do is click on the M. just make that shine for the bottle actually this should be at the top can okay, just delete that one 
Shall I donate it? And by the way, you can click on this, hold and click, and then you see convert vertex tool, and that will just make mine beige here. And something like that. Now we have to kind of squeeze it in, make it smaller. Right. Now if we click the mask and we just hold down shift okay hold down shift down an arrow just move it down so from here what I'll do is I'll double click M it will just bring me the feather so I'll just feather it to let's say 50 it's uh, a bit too much maybe 20 just for, for a second and the expansion we can actually work with this if we want but I think I'll just do five now if I deselect it you see the, the shine okay so I'll, I'll, I'll just stop the video here and I'll carry on with the next one I'll, I'll do the shines for for every single one um, you know what to do so um, it'll be just easier and quicker to just finish it off and uh, take it from the next the next level now so I've done the the shine on the battle it's looking good uh, just the final and uh, the next and final step would be oh, okay again uh, if we're not too happy with the f um, the feather on the thing there um, you just need to go back and let's say uh, into zero one wipe and just feather it to a hundred sorry a hundred and that will just make it a little bit but again again you will uh, tweak and you can actually take it further and see see what happens which you are uh... now the, the next so no render anything uh, the next thing will be um, so zero one coke um, will select that will drag it into making a new composition and we call this um, zero four Final, final, and that's our composition here. Make it, let's work with half res because we have a thousand by a thousand, so it's quite big. So next, what we need to do is in a layer, make a new camera click OK and make 01 coke um, make it 3D layer by clicking this so what we also need to do in the final coke comp uh, we can make it um, let's say PAL widescreen PAL <coughs> And make it actually custom so 24 by 576 square pixels. So that uh, so that will make it 10 seconds. So what we did is 1024 by 576 square pixels at 25 frames a second, duration 10 seconds. Click OK. There we go so now we have to scale down our coke comp something like that uh, let's make it 80 anyway um, 
bring white solid underneath so that would you can actually stretch that it's not very important there. you can actually right click at it right click transform feed to width and you'll just fit on the screen there it would make more sense if we make it a little bit bigger like because we're gonna scale this so from here select the camera go to transform and position actually select them all so create keyframes for every single one go to uh, go six seconds into the clip and um, if you hit C on your keyboard you'd get to toggle so you can um, kind of zoom in and zoom out obviously like a dolly uh, but you can also choose them from here just left click and choose uh, track Z so that's about something like that so now now we can bring the keyframes snap them right to the end so here we go our end frame there Um so that's basically it. What we can do is we can just scale it to 70 if you want, move it up, move it down, left, right, whatever you want. So this is the final render. Doom 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 doom. There we go. Now it's obviously it's it's an end frame, so it has to be a lot fast. But you can you can actually go back and play with the keyframes. So that's basically it. So that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, just drop me a comment. Thanks.